Hello students, in this video we will discuss the dihedral group D3. So let us start. As we know and we have discussed in the last video that the group D3 is generated by the rotating by the rotation and flipping of an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle is a triangle which has equal sides. That is, its all sides are equal. So, let us see what are uh, the rotations and flipping which retains its structure that is shape and look of this triangle. So, let us uh, name this vertex A, B and C. And when we rotate this triangle with 120 degree and now the question is come, question comes uh, why 120 degree. So, from here we can see uh, if we join these vertices in the center of this uh, uh, is this triangle so this makes 120 degree because all uh, all angle are 60 degree and uh, this is also 120 this is also 120 so when we rotate it by 120 degree it means we are shifting this c to this way in the place of a and a will shift to b and B will take place of C. So this is how we we can rotate uh, this triangle with this uh, around this point, fixing this point to 120 degree in the anti-clockwise rotation. This is uh, initial triangle. So we will say if we don't rotate it at all, so we say this is R0 that is rotation by 0 degree or if we rotate it by 360 degree then this will be the same that is r0 is r 360 both are the same so when we rotate it by 120 degree so what we a uh, will take place of b so a comes here and then uh, b here and c here so let us name it r120 then again, we can rotate it by 120 degree, by 120 degree and of course, when we rotated it 120 degree and then again 120 degree, so all over it will be 240 degree. So it will be R240 and uh, let us see, uh, A will take place of B. So, A comes here, B take place of C, so B goes here and here C. And again, if you rotate it by 120 degree, so we will get the same thing if you take uh, another rotation by 120 degree. So, you can see that uh, if this goes to uh, A goes to A goes to B, B goes to C and C goes to A. So, here A, B, C we will get the same thing. So, there are three things that is three, ro three rotation that is a, uh, R0, R120 and R240. So, these are there are three possible rotations. Now, let us see uh, about the flipping. What are the plus possible flipping? So, uh, let us name this triangle ABC. This is the initial triangle what we have taken. So, let us join these uh, this vertex in the midpoint of this uh, uh, this line ABC. So, AO. We will flip it about AO this line AO. So, this will take B will take the place of C and C will take place of B and A will be fixed here. So, let us write A 
and here comes C, here comes B. We just swipe these two. So, and let us give name F1. Now, again, uh, if we join this uh, B, vertex B, with the midpoint of AC, so this will again divide uh, this ABC triangle into halves. So again, we will flip. So we will get uh, a triangle where B is fixed and AC will get swept. So B here and C comes here and A here. And let us name it as F2. And another possibility, let us join vertex C with a midpoint of BA. So we will fix this line and we will swap these two. So C will be fixed here, C will be fixed here and here uh, comes B and here comes A and let us say this is F3. So there are F1, F2 and F3. This is flip and R0, R120, and R240, their rotation. So now we will make a Kelly table to prove that this is a group. And more precisely, we say this is a non abelian group, a non abelian group. So here we have written every element of T3. In D3, there are six elements. So, D cardinal T of D3, or that is order of D3, is six, and we can write two into three. Uh, because, uh, as we know, in the order of Dn is of type two n. So here, let us see. When R zero and R zero, they are uh, combined, or we can say they are com we compose these two elements so we get r0 r0 means do nothing and then r0 and we have a triangle r0 and we are not rotating it so it will be r120 similarly r240 and this is f1 this is f2 and this is f3 now rotate r0 with 120 degree so that we need to just sum these two so we, we get r 120. Similarly, these two uh, rotate one R120 with R 120 degree. So, R240 or 240 plus R120 that is 360. 360 degree is nothing but R0. So, again uh, F1 R120 applied over F1. So, let us see R120 what was F1. F1 is, if you see, so this one, A, C, B. A, C, and B. So let us rotate it by 120 degree. So after rotation, we will get uh, 120 degree. So A will take place of C. So here A, here C, and here B. So B, A, C. What is the, this one? B, A, C. B and A and B, A, C. So we are getting F3. So this is F3. Again, uh, let us consider F R120 applied over F2. It is R120. What was F2? We need to see. F2 is C B A. This one C B A. So right here C B A. And this is equals to now let us again rotate it anti-clockwise direction by 120 degree. So what we get? We get uh, C will take place of B. So here C, here B, and here A. So A, C, B. Let us see which one this. Uh, C, A, B. Uh, it is A, A, C, B. It is A, C, B. 
so a a c b and this is nothing but uh, this is uh, f1 so this is f1 similarly this comes out to be f2 again r r0 and then apply r to 40 so this is r to 40 then r120 uh, and r240 this r0 this is r480 that is 360 plus 120 that is 120 so again uh, this is the similar what we have just done let us see so uh, just apply r240 over f1 so this is equals to r240 and f1 f1 was a c b a c and b so we need to uh, rotate it 240 yani uh, we need to rotate it 120 and then 120 it means if you rotate it by 120 then a will take place of c then again 120 then it will take place of b so we need to that is a uh, a will make this much rotation similarly other vertices also so uh, let us be careful while writing so a comes here b will come here and c will come here all right so c b a let us see what is this one c b a that is f2 if you see this is f2 and similarly other uh, we can write this is f3 and this is f1 now uh, r0 apply f1 on r0 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 is nothing but A, B and C. So we need to flip it. F1 which flip it uh, from a vertex which is uh, top vertex. About top vertex this flips. So we will get A and C and B. So this is nothing but this is F1. And then R120, R120 and we need to flip it r120 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 and then we need to flip it so f1 we need to see what is r120 r120 is this one c a b so let us write c a and b C, A and B and then flip it. Flipping F1 flips from the uh, top vertex. So uh, C and then B and then A. C, B, A we get about this way F1 flip. So uh, C, B, A we need to see what is C, B, A. C, B, A. C, B, A that is F2 here we see F2. So we can write here this is F2. Similarly, similarly we can write uh, other uh, other rotation composition of uh, F and R. So let us take one uh, or two more thing, and then we can leave it uh, uh, on you. You can fill up everything. So let us take uh, R two forty. This one. And then operate F1. So F1 R240. Let us see what is R240. R240 is B C A. So this is B C and A. Flip F1. So this will give us uh, about the word uh, flipping about top vertex. So B this will save their place, they will save their places A and C. So B A C. Let us see which one this uh, B A C B A C B A C that is F3 B A C 
this is f3 so similarly we can fill everything so i am just uh, writing everything which are remaining r0 this is r120 r240 and then f2 and then f3 f1 and r240 r0 and r120 and then this is a f3 f1 and f2 and r120 r240 and r0 so here we can uh, see this is a table uh, now let us uh, see this is r0 identity element identity element identity element identity element identity element in every row and each column r0 coming only one time and of course each element is coming only one time in every row and every column so here r0 is inverse of r0 this one self inverse uh, r r120 this inverse of r240 and conversely and uh, what we see here f1 is inverse of f1 that is when we flip uh, two times uh, any uh, any triangle this is like a b c and we are flipping uh, about this one this is so about the line passing through a so c and b and a then again we flip this one then again b c will change their places so we will get the same thing so f1 is inverse of f1 similarly f2 is also inverse of f2 so f2 self inverse and f3 is also self inverse so one more thing is that uh, i need i i want make it clear that this group is a non abelian group so we can see some uh, particular example here what example we can see uh, let us take some suppose we are taking uh, this one mm, r suppose we are taking r120 this one and then apply f1 f1 r120 apply this one so this is giving f2 and then let us take uh, r120 R120 and apply uh, composite with F1. So F1 first here we have taken first R120 here we have taken F1 uh, first. So F1 and then R120 R120 F1 R120 this one we are getting F3 and certainly F2 is not equals to F3 uh, as we can see from here. F2 both these these two things are not equal F2 and F3 not equal so this is a non abelian group so D3 D3 is a non abelian group so with this uh, I will stop today in the next lecture, we will discuss uh, about D4.